I want to talk quickly about chapter two now. And chapter two in your book again goes back to time. And we're going to review a couple of things that uh, we did introduce in uh, chapter one as well. And in telling time in chapter two, we looked at minutes. So just a reminder that when we do AMs and PMs in Japanese, we always put the gozen AM or the gogo PM at the start. Then whatever number for the hour that you have. And then we either go with five minutes or ten minutes. And the pronunciation of the minutes is either fun or pun. We always remember so it's go fun or ju pun. So if you have a zero in your number, then you have a zero or a maru in your minutes. The other thing that we looked at in this, in this particular chapter was how to say like three and a half hours. And that's with the character han. So we would say sanji and then our kanji for han. Remember that han doesn't mean 30 minutes. It means half of whatever we're talking about. So in this case, half of an hour. And so that equals 3.30 as well. The other thing that we looked at in this chapter was how to say five or 10, et cetera, minutes before an, an hour. And in doing that, we use the word for before, my. So for example, we would have Sanji at, uh, if we wanted to say 255, sorry, for example, that would be Sanji go fun mae. And mae would be the word that we are looking for. Just a reminder that this is a really good um, multiple choice question. Another good multiple choice question is how to say minutes, either go fun, so look for the five for fun or the zero for pun, and that's another great, great question. The other thing we looked at are words for this, next, and last. And so these are a kind of interesting spelling. It's good to remember that weeks and months always follow the same pattern, sen, con, or lai. And so you just substitute in the word and you're not going to be wrong. Watch out for years because it's kyonen, kotoshi, lai, nen. And sometimes we like to ask this as a multiple choice question to see if you remember. An even bigger and favorite multiple choice question is to, for you to remember that with these words, there is no signal used. So sometimes we will have send shoe plus a blank and we'll give you a choice. And one of your choices is no signal and that's the one you should choose. So usually for time we use the signal ni, but we do not use it here. Something else we looked at in this chapter is the past tense. So if we had to do shimas, we learned how to say I did, which is off with the su and on with the shta, shimashta. We also looked at how to say I didn't do. So shimasen is I don't do. And so to make it I did not do, it's shi ma sen plus deshta, and you have to add the deshta. And that's a very good and very popular multiple choice question. We give you did not do and see if you can remember to, that the deshta has to be on there. Something else, this chapter is saying how something was. And when we ask the question, we talk about what we're talking about, and we say something wa do desh, sorry, deshta ka. How was it? When we answer, we're only going to talk about E adjectives right now. So in E adjectives, for example, fun, tanoshi, we take off the E from tanoshi. We remember that always happens with the E adjectives. And we add tanosh kata, small tsu there, and then des. Don't forget the des. That's a favorite multiple choice question. We give you tanosh kata or tanosh kata des, and we want you to remember we need the des. Our only exception is e des, and e des in the past tense goes to yo kata des. That's another great question to see if you remember that e des goes to yo kata des. We also did look at how saying something wasn't good. 
So we have tanosh kunai. And in making the past tense, again, off with the e and on with the kata, tanosh kuna kata des, was not fun, or tanosh kata des, was fun.